In today's video, we're going to be covering another easy shiny hunting method for you to take advantage of in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. In today's video, we've got a super easy method for you to go out and get a shiny size Lazard, the new dragon and normal type in these games. And as far as easy goes, this is as close to AFK shiny hunting as you're going to get. But before we get into the details, I've got to give a big shout out to Sukuroa Gaming, who discovered this method and location for where to easily hunt and get yourself this shiny. So when you're in your game, you are going to want to come to this Pokemon Center in the north of Lavincia Town. So this is where you're going to want to start off. Once you're here at the Pokemon Center, just follow this quick route out of town. You want to come to this exit here, and then you want to just head straight up this cliffside. And it is just up here. Literally, this is where it is. So this is where you're going to do the method in your game. I'll just open the map so you can get a clearer picture of where we are. Right at the corner of Lavincia Town here. So it literally is. It takes two seconds to get here. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get to this location is drop a save. Make sure that your auto saves are off. And then we are going to want to set a picnic and create a sandwich. Language. As always, I'll put an overlay on the screen right now of some sandwich recipe examples for you, but there'll also be a link in the description for the most up-to-date recipes that you can use. And there'll be a mixture of different recipes as well. Obviously for this one today, we're just going with a very simple one just for speed. We're going with the avocado, uh, one salty and one spicy herb mystica because we are wanting to set up the level three encounter power and level three sparkling power for dragon type Pokemon, which size Lazar is part dragon and part normal. Uh, there are normal spawns in this area, so you're wanting to go for that dragon. So this is the sandwich power that you're going to want to set up. So when the sandwich is done, you'll see you've got that sparkling power level 3 and counter power level 3, which are the main ones that you're going to want to look out for, for the dragon type. And we get the bonus title power as well, level 3. So if we do get a shiny with a mark, that will just be a bonus. Now what you want to do is once you've despawned your picnic, you want to find this bunch of flowers here. I'm going to have to be quick about this and you're going to want to try and position yourself right behind them because the size lazars you can see are just spawning out of one position that crack in the wall there and they're going to just be running all over the place but they're continually going to run out of that specific area you can also set up your camera if you want and this is to just stop the size lazar encountering you and this is the biggest problem that you're going to have with doing this method if you don't use your camera or you don't use your menu screen to just avoid the sizes are kind of running into you now when you first do this you might find that the spawns slow down after a little while and that is because you're probably not in the most ideal position so just try and reposition your character and they should start coming in out of the wall again now if they don't the other option is you're going to be able to have a picnic set up and that will despawn everything that's spawned out of the wall so far and it will restart the spawns coming out of this crack in the wall. Now sizes are is going to be easy to spot. It is green and it has red cheeks as it's or orange cheeks as its normal form and its shiny form is kind of like a light brown beige color and it's got blue circles on its cheeks. So like I say, it's going to be easy to spot unlike some of the other new Pokemon in these games. Now, like you can see, here the spawns have kind of slowed down a little bit out of this area so because I've got my menu open right here uh, what I'm going to do is just make sure that there's nothing spawning out so we don't want to do the set the picnic up when there is a spawn coming out the wall and we can just set it up like I say it will despawn everything that has spawned out of the wall up to this point and it should just re restart the spawns coming out of the, the wall there so as you can see just make sure you've got your menu option screen on or your camera on so you don't get encountered and this is it you just need to sit back and relax and wait for the shiny to appear and like i said at the start of the video it's almost afk but there are going to be times where you're going to have to either set your picnic up or just shuffle your character around to a different position just to make sure that the sizes are, are continually running out of this wall so you're getting as many spawns in short a space of time as possible because essentially that is what you're going to want to do for shiny hunting to speed things up to make sure you get that shiny you're going to want to have as many encounters as possible so just do 
doing these little things while you're doing this hunt will just increase the chances of you getting that shiny even quicker. Obviously, you can just stand here if you want and just wait for the spawns to kind of just keep popping out. It might take a little while, but there are a few tips that you can do just to kind of help speed things up for you and hopefully they will help you like they've kind of helped me within this process. And there we go, we got the shiny, we got to try and catch it. There we are, it's finally popped up and I wasn't even paying attention, but there it is, there it is, we get it finally. So it has taken a little while for this one to pop up, but obviously when it does, just make sure you are on point because you're gonna to wanna to try and get it before it despawns itself. So that's one of the keys to doing this. I feel like a nest ball kind of feels suitable for it. It feels like it's gonna match it quite nicely. We get that critical capture and we get it. So there you go. That is how you are easily gonna be able to get yourself a shiny size Lazar. Like I say, it has taken a little bit of time. Let's see how much time we have left on our clock. Probably not. Oh, we do, we do have quite, uh, okay. I thought it, it felt like it's taken a bit longer to get than what it has, but you've got a bit more time and just come back and start the whole process again. Just kind of get yourself set up next to these flowers, next to the tree, and just wait for the shiny to spawn out of the crack in the wall at the back there. And that's all you're gonna wanna do. Like I say, you're gonna have situations where the spawns maybe slow down a little bit, but just shuffle your character around, maybe move forward a bit, move back a little bit to the sides, or just set up a picnic and then you can just despawn everything that has ran out of the wall in the last five minutes like we're going to do now because nothing's really coming out at the minute so to speed things up and just to make sure that you are kind of getting as many spawns as you can in the time that you've got you've got that 30 minutes you don't need to worry about it too much because obviously you have dropped that save so if you don't get the shiny then you can just restart your game again and then come back into it but as you see it does initiate the the spawns to start coming out the wall again so if you are having difficulty with this method that is one thing that you can do to get things rolling again to get this shiny a little bit quicker so i hope you found this method useful if you have drop a like on the video it does massively help if you're new to the channel do subscribe so you don't miss any more of these methods or other videos we're doing covering pokemon scarlet and violet have a great rest of your day friends thanks for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next one so until then take care and bye bye